What's up everyone? It is Tuesday. Our favorite day of the week is back around again because that means it's time to go Blu-ray hunting. I am going searching for heat in an actual heat wave. It is so hot here right now. It's 10 a.m. It's already 95 degrees. But is that stopping me? No, of course not. I have to go out there and find what is new in store. So I'm searching for heat. Sonic 2 is new out today. Doom on 4K, Event Horizon on 4K, tons of new options. I'm planning on hitting up the big three, Best Buy, Walmart, and Target. So come on, join me. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Here we go, location number one. We're going into Walmart. In the new releases at Walmart, they're all about Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is everywhere. So let's start off here on the end. Sonic 2 on 4K, $27.96 regular blu-ray i like that cover i like it a lot that slip is nice 22.96 a different version of the blu-ray cover hmm interesting dvd for 17.96 we have the two movie collection pack of both sonic and sonic 2 i like the slip cover as well sonic 2 cover art is kind of impressing me they did a good job and then they also have this sonic boom super pack with the uh, animated feature i guess we have plenty of copies of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, 4K, the Walmart exclusive with the pin if you're interested in collecting that, the Blu-ray, the DVD, Last Seen Alive with Gerard Butler, that is brand new again this week, Men, I am very torn if I want to even attempt to pick this up, I've heard very weird things about that movie, but it's an A24 title, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably not going to pull the trigger. I can't. I'm too much of a chicken. Bob's Burgers, the movie on Blu-ray and DVD. Vivo on Blu-ray and DVD as well. Plenty of copies of The Lost City on 4K and Blu-ray and DVD. Downton Abbey, the collector's edition. Blu-ray, DVD, everything, everywhere, all at once. Got pushed all the way down to the bottom. Plenty of copies of The Secrets of Dumbledore, Memory, and Codename Banshee. That is brand new as well. So Walmart is actually impressing me because they have a lot of brand new releases. They have a brand new display on the end cap that's right next to the brand new releases over there. Here's where they feature other movies and they kind of change it around a little bit. So I guess they're featuring Universal movies. So they have Despicable, Despicable Me and Shrek and Scooby-Doo, F9 all the Fast and Furious movies and various collections, collection packs. So here's one through four, five through eight. They've got Terminator, Jurassic Park Trilogy, the Hulk movies. And they're starting to get some of the, uh, the horror films for fall with the uh, different slip covers down at the bottom. Of course, they're all on DVD. So they have Halloween, Beetlejuice, The Purge Collection, Chucky, Nightmare on Elm Street, and The Conjuring. So uh, if you're interested in any of these Universal movies on DVD, then there you go. Go to Walmart. In the middle aisle of new releases, not anything in the brand new new releases at Walmart, but up at the top here, they do have Hot Seat. That is a new title for Mel Gibson and Kevin Dillon straight to physical media. They're kind of following Bruce Willis. And speaking of Bruce Willis, here he is again in another, in another title. You gotta respect Bruce. Vendetta. What's this one? Money in the Bank. Oh, that's uh, WWE, I guess. WWE stuff. They still have one pack of The Secrets of Dumbledore. But I did see this. They have Pam and Tommy on DVD. That was exclusively on Hulu. I had no idea it was coming out on physical media. So if you guys don't have Hulu and you want to watch it, then you can pick it up at Walmart. So that is good to know. Let's see. Are these the brand new movies that came out last week that I missed? If I did, here they are, Hellbender, Slapface, and They Live in the Gray. I think I featured Dash Cam last week, Death Hunt, Montana Story, we got some Rugrats, One Summer, if you're interested, Licorice Pizza is still here, Last Survivors with Alicia Silverstone, Gasoline Alley with Bruce, got X on Blu-ray and DVD more Bruce. We should just have a Bruce section at Walmart. I really think they should at this point because all of his movies are here. A Day to Die, American Siege. We need a section just for Bruce Willis films. Okay, I think that is all that is new at Walmart. So I think I'm going to move on to Best Buy. 
actually, before I leave Walmart and I move on, I did turn around and I saw brand new Blu-rays, not brand new, but brand new for the 750 that I want to show you really quickly because they kind of rotate this every now and again. So they do have Tombstone, but that is cheaper right now on Blu-ray.com for $5.99. They do have the Expendables 3 movie pack for $7.50 as well as Forrest Gump, which is a classic film. Very good. The Jason Statham 6 movie collection is back but they also have The Greatest Showman. That is a fantastic underrated musical. If you guys have not seen it, I really do recommend it. I gotta say, very impressed with Walmart's selection today. They had a lot of brand new releases, but I'm holding out for the Heat 4K. So I think the only place I'm gonna find it is at Best Buy. So that's where we're going right now. Next up of the day is Best Buy. In the new releases at Best Buy, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is still up at the top. They still have copies of the Steelbook, Everything Everywhere All at Once on Blu-ray. They still have the Men in Black Steelbook and the Trilogy on 4K. But here's what we're looking for today, Heat on 4K. I'm not seeing the Steelbook, only the slipcover, but there might be some in the back, you never know. Also, Sonic 2, here is the Steelbook, $30.99 possibly i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it we'll see 4k version and also blu-ray they still have copies of the batman the bad guys morbius they still have the born collection on steelbook no one picking that up eternal still at the bottom ambulance yellowstone and turning red so let's see what's on the other side i bet you there's jurassic still Jurassic World. Jurassic Park went, but there's still Jurassic World. They still have a couple copies of the Angel Hearts Steelbook, The Lost City on 4K, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent Steelbook, regular Blu-ray and 4K, Secrets of Dumbledore, Spider-Man No Way Home, Ghostbusters Afterlife, still have a couple copies of Universal Soldier Steelbook, Moonfall, Dog, Uncharted, West Side Story, Infinite and Beverly Hills Cop Part 2. In the back with the new releases, there isn't a ton, but we do still have some stuff available. So Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, 4K and Blu-ray. We still have Duel on Blu-ray, Wolfhound from last week, but here's also a brand new release from today, Doom. Now that I see it in person, it has a nice slip cover on it. It's a decent price, it's only $21.99. I'm considering it, so don't be shocked if you see this in my hand later on. Men available on Blu-ray, like I said, I'm kind of scared to pick this one up. It is an A24 title, but I've heard some creepy, bad, weird things about it. Still have the bad guys on 4K, T2 Steelbook still available, a couple copies, RoboCop on 4K as well. Tons of Scream and Scream 5, Free Guy, I can't believe Free Guy is still out, like my gosh, that was so long ago. Jungle Cruise, Suicide Squad, but let's see what's new over here. We got some new releases. Okay, we got Last Seen Alive with Gerard Butler, which we saw at Walmart. The Green Planet on 4K, $34.99. Vivo on Blu-ray. We got Crimes of the Future on Blu-ray, only $15.99. That is a decent price, very good. Still have a Species 4K available. And also Green Lantern, Beware My Power. They restock True Romance box set. Still have a Bob's Burgers movie on Blu-ray. All right, so Best Buy delivered. We got some options, but no Event Horizon, unfortunately. That's one of the ones that I wanted to get today. So because of that, I may just pick up Doom. Best Buy impressed me as well, although they did not have Event Horizon. That was another big new release that I was interested in, but that was not available. But they did have Heat, although no Steelbook. I'm going to have to go back to pre-ordering the Steelbooks because they're just not in store sometimes. Very unpredictable here at Best Buy. But they had Heat. They did have Sonic 2. Plenty of Sonic 2 and other brand new releases. And I did find a couple of Disney items that I think are, are good finds. You let me know down below in the comments once you find out what they are later on in the video, but we're not done yet. We have to end our trip, of course, with Target. Our last stop of the day is, of course, the Target. We're going into Target, we're going into Target. 
And the new releases at Target, it's all about Sonic 2 as well. So they do have Blu-ray for $22.99 and DVD for $19.99. 4K is $27.99. And they do have the two movie collection pack. They also have Vivo as well, Blu-ray and DVD. The Hot Seat with Mel Gibson, plenty of copies of The Green Planet on 4K. They do have Men here on Blu-ray, but it is cheaper. I think the cheapest was at Walmart for $19.99, so $24.99 is on the expensive end. They do have the Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Reunion on DVD. Still have copies of Downton Abbey A New Era, Multiverse of Madness. And they do have Pam and Tommy here on DVD as well. And also The Lost City on 4K. Rounding the corner. They still have copies of The Batman, Yellow Jackets Season 1 on DVD, Memory on Blu-ray, the Bob's Burgers movie, Blu-ray and DVD. Still have about three copies of the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom Steelbook, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, Cinderella, Uncharted, and Ambulance. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. And even though the Heat Steelbook was not available in store, I still managed to pick up some awesome, great stuff to show you. And I was impressed because every single store that I went to had new physical media releases out. And that is a rarity these days. So when that happens, it's a great, awesome thing, right? So what did I end up getting today? Now, three of these items I'm proud of. One... I'm kind of embarrassed and you'll know which one it is, but let's start off with Heat 4K slipcover. Like I mentioned, no steelbook in stock. I did not pre-order this item. I kind of gambled. I thought it would be in store, but it was not. So they had two copies of the slipcover and I went with the slip. I don't mind it. I think it's a great looking slip and the price point at only $22.99. That was okay too, much cheaper than a steel book. So I went with the slip cover. No embarrassment there. Okay, I'm already feeling your judgment through the phone as I'm, as I'm filming this. I am feeling the judgment. I am hearing your comments down below because I dogged this movie. I said, why are they putting this out on 4K? It's a waste and I'm not gonna pick it up and it's doom. I got doom! What am I doing? Why did I pick this up? Why? The slip cover. That is what got my attention. The freaking slip cover. It's a great slip. Plus, there really wasn't anything else for new releases that I wanted. I wasn't jonesing for Sonic 2. I'm going to wait for that to go down in price because I didn't absolutely love the movies. And because I do want that steel book, I didn't want to pay $30.99 for it. There's about five copies there, so it's probably going to go down. I don't think it's going to sell out of the copies anytime soon. So, for other new releases, this was pretty much the only one where I was like, hmm, maybe I'll go with that one. And I did. I did. What am I doing? I don't know. Should I be embarrassed? Absolutely. Is this really a bad movie? Is it horrible? Let me know down below in the comments. Who has seen Doom? But I guess my justification for this is it has The Rock, and Mama Blu-ray loves The Rock. So, there we go. I bought it for you, Mom. And if it's really that bad, there's always I hate this movie. So let's move on. Let's just forget about Doom for two seconds and get to the other two new releases that I am very proud of that I found. So after I was got after I got done filming my little segment, I went further down into like the Disney, you know, the Disney movies, 4K Blu-ray, and, and older titles. And I managed to find Frozen and Frozen 2 on 4K, both with slip covers. Now, I'm not sure, but I think finding both of these, or should I go like this? Both of these movies with slip covers, kind of a rarity these days. I don't know. I know Best Buy is extremely weird with their back stock. Sometimes, I swear, they hold things back there for five years, and then all of a sudden, they put stuff out. But I, may, I picked them up because they were only $19.99 a piece on sale. So I figure, why not get them? I only have the Blu-ray version. I have the Frozen Steelbook, but not Frozen 2. So I have the Blu-ray of Frozen. It, it, it's like all messed up. I have the Blu-ray of Frozen 2, the Steelbook of Frozen. So now I have both on 4K. So there we go, with very nice slips. 
So that is everything that I found on my outing today. But the big question is, what did you find if you went out today? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.